Here it is, it's done. Check out the old thermostat right here. Tested some of the components. I think this thermal transistor, I think it was junk. Of course, Rand or uh, Excalibur said you couldn't get this anymore. Throw the whole entire thing away. The whole entire thing. So then I looked up on the internet and I found out that you can put this Ranco electronic temperature control on it. It's just a general purpose temperature control you can get for general HVAC use. You can use for either heater or cooling. So this is actually wired into the heater. So anytime you got the timer going here and the fan, this kicks on the fan, it'll provide power to this thermostat and then you can go ahead and set it. So right now I'm doing a full cycle of 145 degrees. I did test it on some lower temperatures and it did really good. So it's set for, you can set the deviation on this, so you can set from the temperature from all the way from like negative 30 all the way up to like, I think it's 220. Of course, you wouldn't want to go either higher than that low, but uh, this is a very broad range. And you can change the drift, so if you set it to, let's say, 94 degrees, kicks the heater off, and it drifts back down, you can set the deviation or the drift for 5, 10, 20 degrees or whatever, so it can cool down 20 degrees. I said I have it for, set for a 1 degree drift right now, so if it hits at a 95, it'll cool down him until it hits 94 and kick back on. It's just for heater. See, we're almost at 100, 100 degrees right now. There you go, there's the inside. Temperature probe right back there. Definitely warm. Yep, definitely warm. So that's that, just the whole, it's probably better than some you can buy now. For forty dollars for that thermostat. That was it. That's all I got in it. Just rewired everything. So I thought you'd enjoy this.